hey guys and welcome back to pixel cherry ninja's channel now if you're ever a fan of the ninja on the sega master system well you're gonna love today's game recommendation this is ninja commando for the neo geo now you can play this anywhere you like i'm really enjoying playing this on the analog pocket i think it plays really well and in order to play you just need to uh, uh head over to the open fpga section and just make sure you have the neo geo uh, core installed that mazamas ported over um you can uh, grab that via the auto update as it's very very easy to put on there but once you've got the game on there honestly this game is nothing short of superb the sprites are big everything about it is just beautiful now you don't have to play this on your analog pocket if you've got a neo geo play it on your neo geo play it on retroarch on a windows machine on an android machine play it on the mister play it wherever you do your retro gaming there's no right or wrong way of playing it the most important thing is that you're enjoying these games and you're having fun uh, before we head over to the capture cards where i'm playing this on the mister uh if you're not already subscribed to the channel then a subscription and a like is super appreciated uh, but anyway guys uh, let's head over to the capture card and uh, have a little uh, uh, more of a look at this game I absolutely love the Neo Geo startup screen uh, for many years I actually had that sound as my telephone ringtone and you know what i absolutely loved it uh, so let's have a look at ninja commando first of all look at how epic the intro is ninja commando is a top-down run and gun like i kind of see it as a shooter but i guess it's it's more a run and gun and it, it was released uh in 1992 by alpha denchi for the neo geo now you've probably heard of alpha denchi they've made lots and lots of uh, great games and honestly this game is no exception always with the neo geo i absolutely love it it gives you a little brief breakdown of what the controls are you've got your attack your somersault your somersault attack and your special so you've got three characters in this game uh one of them the first one you're seeing is the blonde guy called joe the second one is ryu uh the the ninja with a mask on and the third one the female uh, character kunuchi hopefully i've said that correct they've all got kind of different attacks so joe's got more of a spread shot uh Ryu has got uh, like a kind of straight shot but a little bit wider and the finished shot is Kanuchi uh, but she also has uh, the ability to control fire so you must fight I think it's got eight stages uh, I have completed this game when I first started on emulation uh, I started going through this game uh, because I absolutely love this game because I was a big fan of Ninja on the Master System and this honestly reminds me of that it just reminds reminds me of like ninja evolving into a bigger game or what it would have been if this was the technology at the time like i really enjoyed the ninja i've mentioned it a few times before on the channel and this game for me is like a successor of it even though not related or anything it's just what it reminds me of now this game it starts off like a lot of arcade games it starts off decently you kind of think you're doing all right and then later on as you go through some of the bosses they really start guzzling up your money i don't think i could ever one coin clear this maybe i should watch a video uh, on youtube to see how it's done because there's a lot of really really talented people talented uh, players on youtube that play this stuff now as you go through the levels you go through the different eras here i am in the stone age but the story I haven't paid much attention to the story uh, i just don't really do that in a lot of these arcade games i just kind of want to get through i look at how good the graphics are I look at how everything looks and honestly the sprites and the effects in this game are just second to none they're big they're beefy when you hit something it feels like you're hitting it and in this game you really really want to smash that fire button because the more you smash it the bigger your fire gets auto fire could be an option if that's something you want to do i don't use it on this i kind of enjoy mashing the buttons on this and don't get me wrong i use auto fire on a lot of shooters uh, that i play now also your weapons kind of get upgraded as you progress through the game you pick up scrolls uh, which kind of make your weapon better i just keep dying a lot so rather than getting a lot of upgrades i die and continue now one thing about this game the bosses wow the bosses are fantastic now the order of the bosses is slightly different if you're playing the home version of the game you get this boss first but if you're playing the arcade version of the game this boss is later on and honestly they're really good look how good those mummies look this here's the first boss that you get and it's some kind of spaceship you get in there you attack it and you know what you then end up riding that spaceship but another great thing is once you get past the level i just love that fire effect that you get 
and then all three of the ninjas are walking off like some kind of Saturday morning cartoon or some kind of action movie. American Ninja is a movie that all, always comes to mind, especially the way one of the characters uh, looks on this. Like Joe might be based on that. Now, <laughs> I absolutely love these bosses. This reminds me of a Honda from Street Fighter. Apart from he's doing some crazy breakdancing move where he's trying to serve you. So uh, you got served by these uh <laughs> these uh, sumo twins shall we call it but what a fantastic game you will not uh waste any time playing this and you really really enjoy this like when you come across this boss over here you think okay what's going on the sumo wrestlers try to serve me now this one's dancing around in circles and i can't hit him then his crew come out you think okay so i have to attack these non ninjas he's going to do something and then you get the final form now this boss here i died many many times many many times off camera that i can't even show you it took a lot of coins to get past this guy now i'm sure there's a technique and a way that you can do it i just couldn't do it i found it very very difficult but hey i guess that's one of the things about um playing these games now we're not in the arcade spending money we're just pressing the coin button and bang we are there now the cutscenes in between the game look really really good but again like just going back to the bosses the way you've got like the character varieties the bosses that come in it it's just it is just a pleasure to the eye to go through the, uh, through uh, this game it's also released for the Neo Geo CD. Now, I haven't checked the Neo Geo CD version out. I know uh, Paul, uh, Paul, uh, Paul BNL is working on a Neo Geo CD course. So when that comes out, I will love uh, to try the CD version. But having a look at this boss, you see like this, I don't know what it is, a dragon, a giant lizard, and then he turns out to be like a robot one. Like how cool is that? And uh, that one wasn't so difficult. The boss previous to that was difficult. And then you've got this finger over here where you're kind of doing the, ancient egypt kind of level you've got this thing floating about and then it turns into the final form now a lot of the bosses in this have one form and then another form and this just looks as as crazy as it does amazing at the same time like you've got this mummy thing look at the eyes it just looks evil like it's gang for you now i'm colorblind but those colors just seem like crazy to me but anyway you, you kind of get past this uh and i'm having a blast doing this like on some of these ones i am seeing some patterns the hardest boss i had was the one earlier with the giant sword uh the other ones were kind of okay but guys definitely check this game out and like i said there's no right or wrong way of playing it man if you've got neo geo and you're fortunate enough to have one and you've got a big massive car play it on that if not play it on retroarch play it on your android play it on your mio mio mini pro what's that new handheld that everyone's talking about i'm seeing a lot of it on social media like a mio mini or something play it wherever you want uh, i'm really enjoying this on my mister and uh, my analog pocket and it plays really really well on the analog pocket it's a nice fit for it uh, you don't really need too many diagonals it's it's playable it's good and if you're playing this doctor or anything play it with a friend and it's just so much fun but guys that kind of wraps it up for this video do let me know if you're playing this game if you've played it if you're enjoying it comment below also give me your recommendations for games uh, i'll be back with another video soon and i'll be back with another game recommendation next week but uh, guys this was it remember if you're not subscribed <laughs> subscribe to the channel and like do that good stuff that's the best way you can help the channel but guys this is it and until next time pixel cherry ninja out